and welcome back to my channel welcome if you're new make sure you hit that subscribe button and let's get right into this video so today it's christmas eve merry christmas eve if you celebrate and we have a big nail set ahead of us today this is my official christmas nail set so i'm doing both of my hands there's gonna be so many designs so we have a lot to do so i guess let's just get right into this here is the nail set that i'm going to be recreating today come on guys just look at this nail set it is gorgeous just when I found this nail set I was like yeah this is the one this is what I'm doing for my official Christmas nail it's so pretty it has so many cute designs and I just love it and I can't wait to do it so let me just show you everything you're going to need okay so I think this is what we're going to need it's a lot it can barely fit in the screen so we'll just start with the poly gels you're definitely going to need some clear poly gel I have this pink glitter poly gel that I really like and I think this is like the glitter the main glitter that I'm using for this set and here I have four I think these are all different these are from the pink McCart poly gel kit and there's two sheer pink colors and then two opaque pink colors I haven't picked the exact ones I want to use and we're going to need a light pink and some white gel polish I also have my stamping stuff I think we're going to be doing stamping I'm not too sure we'll have to see like when we get there but I have a white and a gold stamping polish along with the stamping plate that has the snowflake stamping art that I want and I have these charms here I'm not too sure if I actually want to use these or not but I just thought they were like so cute I kind of want to use them so we'll see like which one I want to use because I just want to add as much stuff as I can to this nail set and then I have here some glitter snowflakes we're also going to need some dip powder or acrylic whichever one you want to use but I have dip powder and some fine glitter and also some gems and these snowflake stickers so it's either between the snowflake stickers or the stamping art stuff I haven't chose but I think this is pretty much all we're going to need so let's just get right into this nail set okay so here are my natural nails I've been doing this hand back to back with the nails but this hand my right hand I haven't done any nails on her in like so long I can't even remember the last time I did nails on this hand so I might be a little bit rusty using my non-dominant hand but we can do it I think also this nail set is going to be a journey me and you like this is gonna take me a while I know it um I plan to be here for a very long time so get comfortable and let's do this so I'm gonna start off with some nail prep this hand doesn't really need much nail prep but I know this hand really does so I'm going to start with my cuticle pusher and just push back the cuticles Now I'm going to take this circular cuticle drill bit and work this around the cuticle area. Now I'm going to take my cuticle scissors and I'm going to trim off any excess dead skin from around the cuticle area. Now I'm going to take my fine grit sanding band and I'm going to file over the surface of the nail very gently. This is just to scratch it up a little bit so that all the poly gel and product can stick to the nails better. Okay, so even though I want to keep these nails on for a little bit longer than I normally do, I still am going to a peel off base coat on these nails because I still know I'm going to take them off pretty soon. But for the peel off base coat, what I use is some cuticle oil and then I paint some top coat over the nail. So instead of using a lot of cuticle oil, because if you put a lot, then the nails will pop off like really easily. I'm just going to put like the littlest amount. The nails should still be able to pop off, but they should be stuck on there to last like maybe 
four days, three or four days, which is good. All right, so I have the peel off base coat on. Now I'm going to size out the nail tips. Okay, so I have all the nail tips and now I'm going to cure on the nail tips with some base coat. I only glue on my nail tips with base coat because I have this peel off base coat on and regular nail glue doesn't really stick to the peel off base coat. So I just cure the nail tips on and it works much better. But if you're doing your nails normally, I would definitely just recommend using regular nail glue. Okay, so I have all the nail tips glued on. Feels so weird, but it feels nice to have both of my hands being done for once. Now I'm going to trim down the nail tips. I do want these to be long. Yeah, we're gonna make them long. I know I'm gonna be here for a while, but that's okay. I, I do want these long. If it's gonna add some extra time, I guess that's all right. I do, I want them like this long. I'm only gonna cut off like a little bit. Okay, so all the nails are slightly trimmed down. I wanted these to be long, okay? Like, I haven't had nails on both of my hands in a long time. So I want to make it harder for myself and have super long nails on my right hand that I never do nails on, you know? I'm kidding, of course. I just can't help it, okay? I just feel like this set is going to look so cute long. Okay, now I'm going to take a hand file and I'm just going to shape the nails a little. I'm going to straighten out the tip of the nail and file in these little edges that stick out. Okay, so I have the nail tips shaped up a little bit. Now I'm going to take my fine grit sanding band and I'm going to remove the shine from all the tips. Okay, so I have all the nail tips filed. Now I'm going to add on some base coat to all the nails. Okay, so I have the base coat on and I decided not to put any on this hand just yet because I want to like do this hand first and then do this hand. So I don't want there just to be sticky base coat on the nails when there doesn't need to be right now. So we're going to start on the poly gel application. So we're going to start on the pointer finger. So what I think we need to do first. I'm going to take my mixing plate. Okay, I'm going to take some of this light pink. This is kind of a purpley pink, but... It's not that bad. It's a little more on the pink side. And I'm gonna take a lot of top coat. I'm making a sheer pink gel polish. That's what I'm doing. Okay, now I'm going to take a brush and I'm just going to paint this on. I guess this is just like gonna be our base color, just a sheer pink. I think this is good. I don't really know why I need to do this, but I guess I'm doing it. Okay, so I'm gonna cure this. Okay, now I'm going to take this glitter poly gel and it's not exactly like the inspiration picture. The inspiration picture has like really chunky pink and white glitters, but I don't really have like white chunky glitters, so. I'm just gonna do this instead. I shouldn't have put this much, but it's okay. So I'm going to smooth this out. I'm gonna take off a lot that I put on. I did not really mean to put all this on here. We just need this for the glitter. Is this gonna be cute? I'm a bit nervous actually for this glitter because those like pink dots are like really red. Yeah, I don't think I like this. I'm gonna try and scrape all this off. <laughs> I do have like that pink metallic-y glitter. So I think I'm gonna use that. Okay, so instead of the other glitter, I'm gonna use this one and I'm just gonna use a small layer of that. Yeah, I feel like this one will just fit better with this nail set. I don't really have like that exact glitter from the inspiration so I'm just trying to find something that's similar that'll still look good but that other glitter the pink glitter in it or the it looked red like it just it didn't look right. Okay so I don't think I want to add any other glitters to this. I'm just not really sure what else would go with this and I feel like this is really nice alone so I'm going to cure this. Okay so I'm gonna be honest I'm looking at this pink again and I feel like it's just not 
not gonna look good like it doesn't match you know like this is like a rose gold type of pink and this is too like like a different tone of pink what i think i'm gonna do instead is take our mixture with the clear and the pink gel polish i'm gonna paint this over the glitter because in the inspiration picture the glitters are like frosted with like a layer of pink and i was gonna do that with the poly gel but the poly gel just doesn't look right so we're gonna do this instead okay so i don't know if you can really tell but it does have that frosted look over it okay now i'm going to take some clear poly gel and encapsulate this make sure that the structure and kind of like build the nail because the nail is definitely way too thin right now so i'm going to encapsulate this i'm just going to do it in one bead and i'm going to get smoothing this out Okay, so here's what the nail looks like from the side. I tried to keep the nails pretty thin, so you can kind of tell it's like a frosted glitter. So I'm going to cure this. So all of the other pink poly gels that I wanted to use, they're like too bright pink for this. And seeing like this color, this pink color here, it's a lot more like a dull pink. It's not exactly like the inspiration picture, but now this is the pink that I'm working with. So the other pinks didn't match. So I needed to find like a matching pink. And I found this one, and I feel like it goes with this pink really well. So I guess this is the color we're gonna do. It's still a nice pink. It's not like super bubblegum pink. So I hope it's good. So I'm just going to get smoothing this out. I feel like they go well together. And plus, everything's like gonna get covered up with nail art anyway. So it's, it's all right if they're not like perfectly matching. So I finished this nail and now the ring finger is also going to be another full nail of this pink. Okay, so we're on to the pinky nail now. I'm not really sure how to do this one. I'm sure you can do this nail in a few different ways, but what I'm gonna do, basically make the same nail as this for the whole nail, and then I'll just do the French tip nail art later. So I'm going to take the sheer pink gel polish and then put a layer of that on my nail. Okay, now I'm going to once again use this pink glitter poly gel, and I'm going to do basically what I did on the pointer finger. And now I'm going to paint over this with the sheer gel polish. Okay, I was supposed to add on the white snowflakes, but I did forget. I was supposed to add it into the glitter poly gel. I'm just going to add it on now. I'm gonna take some clear poly gel because I need these snowflakes to like stick down. Because pinky nail is so small, I need the sides of the snowflakes to make sure they are stuck to the nail not poking out too much okay now i'm going to take some clear poly gel and encapsulate this nail
Okay, and the thumbnail is gonna be another nail of the pink. I hope I have enough of this poly gel. It's kind of running out. <laughs> Okay, so all the poly gel is done for this hand. Now we're gonna do this hand. Um, I'm basically doing the same thing. It looks a bit strange with no nail art or anything on it, but it's still very pretty. Onto this hand and look at my poly gel. This thing, I'm afraid I'm not gonna have enough. Let's hope for the best. Let's hope I have enough. Um, so I just started painting this and I forgot I didn't put base coat on. But it's okay. Um, I'm just gonna finish painting this nail and then I'm going to put base coat on the rest of the nails. So I think this poly gel is pretty much finished, but my nails, they're, they're too thin. So I think I'm going to put some clear poly gel over these pink nails. That tube was filled. I've never used that poly gel before. Just doing these three nails on each hand, it's empty. <laughs> I'm done with all the poly gel. Here's how the nails look. You might be able to tell, but one hand is a bit different shade of pink than the other hand. It's because I ran out of poly gel for this hand. So I just had to like do one thin layer of the pink and then encapsulate it. So it's a bit lighter, but it's fine because they're on different hands. So it doesn't really matter. And it's very like a subtle difference. So I don't mind, it's okay. But I love them. I love the length. Um, it's already 10 p.m. at night and I still have to shape them and do all the nail art, but it's okay. We're gonna get through this. Um, so I'm gonna get shaping now. I have my McCart dust collector and a hand file and yeah, let's just get reshaping these nails. <laughs>
okay so here are how the nails are looking after they have been shaped i really love them i think they look so good it took me a really long time to shape these because you know they're super long both hands and i'm using my non-dominant hand which i haven't used in a while so it took me kind of a long time i did have a complication the pinky nail on this hand fell off but this is my right hand this pinky nail was a little bit lumpy with the poly gel and i was kind of filing it really roughly <laughs> So it did pop off because in the beginning, if you don't remember, I put a peel off base coat still on these nails, but I just put the peel off base coat back on and then I glued it with some nail glue because base coat wouldn't be able to cure through. I hope that makes sense. I feel complete now, like both my hands done, super long, so pretty. I'm ready to do this nail art. It is now 1130 at night. I'm hoping this nail art isn't too complicated i don't want to jinx myself i haven't done nails on my right hand in so long and it feels so heavy like this hand is used to it like she has some strength but the other hand is like i, I could definitely feel like there's extra long nails on here okay so i guess we'll start on this nail art we're gonna start on the pointer finger i'm not exactly sure how to go about this this nail has like a frosted outline which i think is so pretty okay actually before we start I'm going to, feels like I have chopsticks attached to my fingers. I like it. I'm going to wipe these nails off from all this dust first. Okay, so we're starting on the pointer finger. And my thought for this is to do the frosted outline. I'm just going to use a brush. I'm going to try this first. I hope it works. And then just like dab it on here. I mean, it's kind of, it's kind of good. Okay, I'm going to redo it, but I feel like this is going to work because it has like some messed up bits and then I kind of went crazy. <laughs> Okay, so I think this looks pretty good. Like it gets the point across. It looks like a frosty outline for the nail. It also reminds me of like a frosted window, which I think is really cute. Okay, so the middle finger is supposed to have that big snowman centerpiece. And how I plan to do that is with poly gel. Like, I'm thinking it'll work um, if I just put like a huge bead of poly gel, shape it into a circle sphere, and then cure that, and then do the circle for the head, and then add the pieces for the hat i don't know if it's gonna work but i really hope it does but what you have to do first before you put on the snowman is put on the snowflakes that is kind of like the background so i'm gonna do that now the snowflakes in the picture are super detailed and i honestly don't feel like doing that right now so i'm gonna go with my simple snowflake nail art oh actually we're not even done with the pointer finger we're supposed to be sticking on snowflakes but it's okay well, we'll save that to the end because those are like stickers. For the middle finger, I'm going to paint on some top coat. Now that the nail is matte, now I'm actually going to start on the snowflake nail art. <laughs> done with the snowflakes and now i'm a little nervous for what's to come now we're going to do the giant snowman so for this i'm going to use clear because i feel like if i did a giant glob of white poly gel like it wouldn't cure all the way through so i'm gonna do clear and hope for the best and then i'm going to paint it white after I got the bead of poly gel on here and don't judge me if I'm like not doing this right, but I feel like this is good. Like I feel like this is gonna work. I'm just shaping this into a nice circular shape and I don't mind if it's a little bit flat, like it doesn't have to be round like a like a dome. Like I don't I don't care about that. It just it just needs to be 3D. And this has like bubbles in it, but also it's fine because i'm gonna paint white gel polish on it i'm pretty nervous because there's like like once i cure this there's no going back i mean i guess maybe i could try and fix it if it doesn't look right but this is how it's going to be my snowman's not going to be like very big or is this big i don't know i feel like compared to the picture it's it's not that big okay I i'm just gonna go for it i'm gonna cure it i can't believe i'm curing a giant bead of clear on my nail here's how it looks um a little weird because it's clear i'm going to do the next bead for the head a 
Okay, now I'm going to add on the little piece for the hat. I really hope this turns out how I'm expecting. Okay, hat is on. Okay, and finally I'm gonna add on a small dot for like that puff on the hat. Now let's start to draw on this. I, I really am not sure how this is gonna look. Like the shape looks pretty good. So I guess let's start adding the color on. I just realized I didn't sprinkle the dip powder onto the snowflakes, but that's okay because I'm not gonna fix it. <laughs> Okay, so here's the snowman and what I want to do is add the dip powder on this because this makes it look like snow texture. Onto the uncured gel polish, I'm just adding on the dip powder. And plus, I need something to like differentiate the snowman from the hat. I'm going to cure this. Okay, so I drew on the line for the hat and I'm kind of adding layers to it so it can stand out a bit more. Okay, now I'm going to put the hat color. Here's my snowman. I love it. It looks so cute. I love how it turned out. It's adorable. Like, I'm so much happier. Like, I did not expect it to turn out good at all, to be honest with you. But it's so cute. And it looks like a snowman. And once I put on the uh, tiny gold beads for the buttons down the middle like it's gonna look complete so this nail is pretty much done i'm not gonna do this on the other hand though just so you know like <laughs> i'm so tired right now and we're not even done so i'm gonna keep it simple for the other hand so the next nail i'm actually super excited to do this one so i'm first going to add some matte top coat to the nail and this nail is going to be the let it snow nail where it's kind of like drawn into snow i loved that about this set that i'm recreating that's that's like one of the main reasons that I was like really loving this set was because I loved the like let it snow drawn into the snow. It looks so cute. So now I'm going to paint on a layer of white gel polish. I'm going to take the dip powder and I'm going to sprinkle it over this nail. Okay, now you're supposed to take a dotting tool and I guess just write let it snow into the nail with the dotting tool. Oh my gosh, it's actually working. And I saw that you're supposed to like wipe off your dotting tool after every brush. Oh no, <laughs> it's not gonna fit on here. I totally underestimated this. What I've been doing is just not working. I tried it twice. It just isn't working out. So I'm going to do something a little different. I'm going to take some white dip powder and I'm adding some glitter to it because I remembered that I did want to do that. I wanted glitter in here and I hope this works out how I'm thinking. So I'm going to take some top coat and I'm just going to paint a layer of this on the nail. And now I'm going to sprinkle this over my nail. That looks much more what I'm thinking it should look like. So once again, let's try drawing in this let it snow. This is kind of hard to be honest. Okay, this is what I got. It's good enough. I'm keeping it. Now onto the pinky nail. I'm going to paint on the French tip now for the pinky nail.
Okay, so on the thumbnail, I'm pretty sure the next nail art is a Christmas tree or a tree. Um, I don't have the picture for it and I'm too lazy to go and look for it. So I'm just gonna try and like do it from my memory. Sorry, we're kind of like speeding through the ending here. Not only was I out of frame on a lot of things, but right now as I'm editing this video, it's Christmas Eve and I have a lot to do today and I'm editing this video. So I'm kind of trying to speed through this a little bit so I can get this video up for you guys i don't want to upload this in the middle of the night i don't want to skip a day like i told you guys i was going to post for a full week and i want to do that so sorry if we're like going a little bit fast here at the ending but i just tried to include as much as i could okay guys so this is what we're looking like so far the nails look really cute i do really like them but it is two in the morning and i'm so tired my desk is a mess and i still have to do this whole hand but i'm not going to i'm gonna finish this hand and hopefully i'll get a chance to finish this hand another time but let's just focus on finishing these because they look really good i just have to add on like the final details and then it's done so i really did bite off more than i could chew for this nail set to be honest with you i wanted to do both of my hands but ended up only being able to complete one hand and i do really like how it turned out but it was a struggle and once all the nail art is done we're going to add on some cuticle oil And here are how the nails turned out. Let me know what you guys think of this nail set in the comments. I do like how these turned out. I really like them, but the perfectionist in me, I'm disappointed in myself because I really wanted to do both hands, but I was only able to do one. And I feel like not everything on this nail set is as perfect as I want it to be. And like being a perfectionist, it's good and bad because it's good because you want to push yourself to do the best you can, but it's bad because when you're just not able to get it where you want it, like, it just it makes me so disappointed and sad but i still do like these nails don't get me wrong i really like them my favorite part that really surprised me is the snowman the 3d polygel nail art i totally did not think that was gonna work out i thought it was gonna be the thing that made me frustrated the most but it was honestly fun and it turned out so good and the snowman is so cute like that's my favorite thing on this nail set. It did not let me down. It was not stressful at all to do that. Now that is like a new skill that I just unlocked because I have never done poly gel nail art decoration before. Like I haven't done 3D poly gel anything before and this was the first time and it turned out so good. I like opened a door to so many other possibilities. So yeah, that snowman is my favorite part of this whole entire set. And if you guys are thinking of doing something with 3D poly gel, I recommend it. Like it, it was good, like it turned out really good but yeah i do like how this nail set turned out yeah this was day six of my nail miss doing my official christmas nails that i sadly wasn't able to finish but it's like i have so much left to do before christmas so i have to like pick and choose what i'm gonna complete and stuff like that so yeah merry christmas eve everyone make sure you stay tuned for tomorrow on christmas i'm going to be doing a live stream <laughs> But yeah, that is pretty much it for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Stay tuned for tomorrow. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. And I will talk to you all next time. Happy holidays!